Hi, and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty, my co-host, Cletus. Okay, so the topic for today is smart meters. Now, everyone has heard about uh, smart meters, of course, but usually what you hear is the uh, fact that they're most often, or sometimes, wireless. And they have, like, you know, nine, they, like, each smart meter forms, like, a 900 megahertz, like, wireless mesh network to communicate data back to the, to, uh, the power company and blah, blah, blah. And um, you hear about a lot of the health effects, negative health effects usually. But anyway, this video is not about the, the negative health effects of smart meters. It is about everything else that is important to know about smart meters. And the reason I'm making this is because recently the, uh, the, the old-fashioned electronic meter for my power hookup here, it died. And it turns out it had been dead for like a year. So, so the power company was basically guessing and like billing for like just, ah, you know, ah, we'll just guess based on past years and meh. So finally they came out and they replaced it and they installed this, um, this bright like Constructicon green super smart meter. And uh, when the guy was here, I said, well, hang on a minute. Why does it, why does it, why, instead of showing kilowatts, it was showing KVA. I'll get into that in a minute, but I, I basically asked him, hang on a minute, are you measuring the actual kilowatts I consume or are you measuring KVA, which is a totally different animal? And he reassured me that they're actually only billing for kilowatts, which it appears that they are, but there are some catches. So first let us go over, now this is, this is um, I'm going to go over kind of how things work here, here being Europe, uh, specifically France. So. Uh, smart meters are being deployed pretty much everywhere um, in North America, in Europe. They started in France two years ago. I'm pretty sure like uh, up north in the Scandinavian countries and various other countries pretty much all over Europe, they're all switching to smart meters. So um, this is kind of, kind of relevant to everyone, but the specific case is France. So, okay, so typically what, what you used to have is you've basically got like a pole or something and, and you'd have... Um, Basically, you would have a box here that's like fuses, right? That's just like fuses, and then that would be fed into your old-fashioned meter, right? In this case, it's a, it's a digital meter, but it's not a smart meter. And then that went down to a main breaker, and the main breaker had like, you know, a little window here, and that little window would say, like, you know, 45 amps, right? So basically, this is basically to just disconnect, and then this, this goes to your house, of course, you know. So, all right, so we got all that. Fuses so that the, the, the power company man can disconnect all this, replace your meter or whatever. That's your meter. That's your main breaker with a current rating on it, and that goes to your house, right? Okay, so what this actually means is that... Uh, Basically, what, what used to happen is your meter was just measuring, and they would come and read the power off here, right? In kilowatt hours, whatever, and, and then they'd, they'd bill you for it, right? And this guy, the main breaker here, was actually what would cut the power to your house if you exceeded a certain current level. So, since we have 230 volts here, uh, 230 volts times 45 amps gives us... In this case, you would have 10,350 watts. So if you exceeded 10,350 watts, or 45 amps, this main breaker here would shut off, right? Okay, well, enter the smart meter. Now what happens is the setup is a little different, because it looks exactly the same as this, right? So we'll draw it over here. You've got your fuses. This goes down to... A smart meter. Oh, sm smart. And this goes down to your main breaker with my really poorly drawn thing. And this still says 45 amps, right? And this goes down to your house. Oh, done. Okay, well, what's the problem? The problem is that in the, in the olden days, you'd have, say, 45 amps, right? 
well, that's 10,350 watts. But if you look on your subscription, your, your, your subscription to the power company, they didn't call it, oh, you're signed up for 10,350 watts. They didn't say you're signed up for 10.35 kilowatts. What they said is you're signed up for 9 kilowatts. Because these little guys here, the main breaker, has like a little wheel. The guy comes, and if you get your service bumped up, he takes the cover off, and he turns this wheel, and you go from 45 to, say, 55 amps or something. And then, but, but they don't call it the actual power because they sort of round the numbers and say, oh, that's a nine kilowatt service, right? Well, starting about two years ago, uh, here in France anyway, what they did is instead of calling your, your uh, subscription nine kilowatts, they started calling it nine kVA. Now this is extremely important because the old meters didn't have a breaker in them. The smart meters actually duplicate the function of this breaker here. So basically this smart meter is now programmed for 9 kVA because what well, that's that's what you had, right? In the past it was it was 45 amps, 45 times 230 volts is 10,350. If you exceeded 45 amps, this guy trips, right? If you exceeded 10,350 watts, this guy trips. With the smart meter now, this guy is basically useless except to just t turn the power off to your house. But this 45 amp limit, that doesn't matter anymore because this smirt breaker actually has a main breaker, a cutoff built into it. So now this nine KVA setting is actually programmed into the smart meter. Well, what does that mean? Well, okay, first of all, a little explanation. <clears throat> okay, KVA versus kilowatts. Uh, it's complicated. It's related to power factor. So, um, simple way of thinking about it is when you use your 1000 watt motor, the power company on their end, you're, you're connected through your meter, through the whole power grid way off, you know, tons and tons of power lines, way the heck back to the power company, right? In order for your motor to consume 1000 watts, the power company has to actually generate 1111 watts because the power factor of your motor, say, is 0.9, right? So 1111 times 0.9 is 1,000. And the reasons for that get all complicated. I think I described it in another video, which I'll link to down below. Um, but but the, the simple way of thinking about it is that because things are not quite perfect, then when your gizmo is consuming 1,000 watts, the power company actually has to generate more than 1,000 watts like say 1100 watts of actual power and send it over the lines because there are losses in the lines there are things like motors and and LED light bulbs and switching power supplies that skew the current waveform away from the voltage waveform and this results in essentially like losses and so yeah so basically the power company has to generate more electricity for you to use a smaller amount they have to generate say 1100 watts so that your gizmo can use one thousand watts of real power. That's as simple as I can make it. Okay, so that's that uh, real power is kilowatts, and this apparent power, this extra power, extra power that the power company has to generate to send you the amount that you're consuming is generally written in, in KVA. That's kind of abbreviated, but just roll with it. So, um, practically, that means two different things. First of all, before, your breaker down here was tripping at 45 amps, which was 10,350 watts, right? Now, your smart meter, which they called this 9 kilowatts, then they changed the name to 9 kVA, and now your smart meter is programmed with the value 9 kVA. And if you press the button on here, you can cycle through, and you can see um, maximum, you know, subscription is 9 kVA, right? Um, then it'll say, like, uh, cutoff, cutoff level is 9 kVA. Well... If you assume a power factor of exactly 1, 9 kVA is basically 9,000 watts. So let's do a calculation. 9,000 divided by 230 equals, oops, only 39.1 amps. Let's just say 39 and make it simpler. So, what that means is that your main breaker here at 45 amps, he's never going to trip anymore because this guy is going to trip at 9 kVA 
which is actually only 39 amps, assuming that the power factor is 1. And that's why all these people are complaining, because basically, in the past, they still, they, they had the same hookup, but because of the sort of, uh, the kind of imperfections in these main breakers, and because there was no smart meter, it would cut off at 45 amps. Now they got these smart meters, and they say, oh no, it's KVA, and uh, blah, blah, blah. So essentially what you have is an effective, effectively you have a much lower amount of current that you can pull. Which means, of course, everyone's breakers are tripping all the time. Their smart meter is cutting their, their juice off all the time, and they're having to call and say, what the hell, you know, what are you going to do? And of course they're told by the power company, oh, well, you just need to upgrade your subscription, and instead of 79 euros a month, you need to pay us 114 euros a month, and we'll fix it for you. Yeah, um, I have to say that in, in France's case, there is no wireless. It's basically using, um, uh, they call it CPL. I can't remember the name in English. It's basically like, it's like Ethernet over power lines. Um, the smart meters are actually sending data over the actual power lines back to the power company. And that's how it's communicating data daily. Um, the other thing is that um, the, all the electric companies are talking this up a lot. And they're saying like, oh, smart meters are great because we're having like things like electric cars and blah, blah, blah. It, before, with a dumb meter, the power company simply had a number of kilowatt hours. They didn't know when you consume that amount of power. They didn't know, they didn't really know anything about it. Now they have a method by which they can, say, measure the power factor. They can, they can see when you're consuming lots of power, and then they can call you up and say, oh, I noticed that you're consuming a lot of power during the day. Perhaps you should consider, like, running your, you know, like electric hot water heater only at night when, and they'll give you cheaper rates for that and that kind of thing. Uh, so it's not really going to solve any green problems, because obviously the more people who have electric cars, that sucks a lot of electricity from the grid. And of course, with smart meters, everyone now has a lower actual capacity that they can pull from the grid on the same subscription. So you're probably going to have to pay more money and get a beefier subscription. Uh, and yeah, that's that's pretty much that's the deal. So yeah, that's the that's the story. They are. Um, um they're they're nice because um the other thing the smart meters do is usually on a daily basis they're actually reporting your consumption data back to the power company and you can usually log in online and you can see like how much power am i consuming and it gives you like a real-time graph whereas in the past like in in my case um they go oops your your meter's broken we haven't actually read it for the past year so we've been estimating your bills this whole time and it's like well you know Thanks. So, anyway, that's the story. Um, smart meters are, yeah, they're, uh, they're causing a lot of problems for a lot of people. And uh, that's to make no mention of the fact that there are people who have these negative uh, health reactions to the, the wireless stuff. So, um, yeah, that's the story. Um, yay, smart meters. Uh, for more Techie Tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.